The Misadventures of Bob the Bumbling Baker Chapter 1 Bob's Bakery Blunders In the heart of Butterville, nestled between the bustling streets and cosy cottages, stood a quaint little bakery known as Bob's Bakes. And at the helm of this bakery was none other than Bob himself, a man whose culinary talents were only surpassed by his knack for clumsiness. Every morning, as the sun peeked over the horizon, Bob would begin his day with the best of intentions. He don his flower-covered apron, tie back his unruly hair, and set to work creating mouth-watering pastries that would make even the most discerning food critics mouth water. But alas, despite his best efforts, chaos seemed to follow Bob wherever he went. One particularly sunny morning, as Bob set out to bake his famous cinnamon rolls, disaster struck. With a flourish of his hand, he reached for the jar of cinnamon, or so he thought. In his haste, Bob had grabbed the wrong jar, and instead of a pinch of cinnamon, he poured in a whole jar of fiery chili powder. The moment the powder hit the dough, the air was filled with the pungent aroma of spice. Customers coughed and spluttered as they entered the bakery, their eyes watering and noses tingling from the unexpected heat. Bob, oblivious to the chaos he had caused, continued to knead the dough with gusto, humming a tune under his breath. It wasn't until the first customer took a bite of the spicy cinnamon rolls that Bob realized his mistake. The poor soul's face turned beet red, sweat beading on their forehead as they gasped for air. Panic washed over Bob as he surveyed the scene before him, a bakery filled with coughing, spluttering patrons, and a batch of cinnamon rolls that could double as fire starters. But true to form, Bob didn't let the mishap dampen his spirits. With a sheepish grin and a hearty laugh, he declared the spicy cinnamon rolls a new specialty, dubbing them Bob's fiery delights. And much to his surprise, the people of Butterville embraced the spicy treats with open arms, eagerly lining up to try Bob's latest creation. And so, amidst the chaos and confusion, Bob's bakery continued to thrive, fueled by equal parts laughter and cinnamon, a testament to the resilience of a bumbling baker and the unwavering spirit of a small town with a taste for adventure. Chapter 2 The Great Doe Debacle The sun rose once again over Butterville, casting its warm glow over the sleepy town and its bustling inhabitants. Inside Bob's Bakes, the aroma of freshly baked goods filled the air as Bob, undeterred by his previous mishap, prepared to tackle another day in the kitchen. Determined to redeem himself after the spicy cinnamon roll fiasco, Bob decided to focus on one of his classic creations, chocolate chip cookies. With a newfound sense of determination, he meticulously measured out each ingredient, double-checking every step to ensure no mistakes were made. But fate, it seemed, had other plans for our bumbling baker. As Bob reached for the sugar, his hand brushed against a container that felt suspiciously like the salt shaker. Ignoring the niggling doubt in the back of his mind, Bob poured the contents into the mixing bowl, the granules cascading down like snowflakes. Unbeknownst to Bob, he had just made his second blunder of the day. Instead of sweet sugar, he had added a generous helping of salt to the cookie dough, turning what should have been a delectable treat into a salty disaster waiting to happen. With a sense of accomplishment, Bob mixed the dough, his excitement growing with each turn of the spoon. But as he scooped out the dough and placed it on the baking tray, a sinking feeling settled in the pit of his stomach. The cookies emerged from the oven golden brown and fragrant, but as soon as the first brave soul took a bite, their expression turned from anticipation to confusion. The taste of salt overwhelmed their senses, leaving them grimacing and reaching for a glass of water. 
Before long, word of Bob's latest blunder spread like wildfire through the town, drawing a crowd of curious onlookers to the bakery door. But instead of anger or disappointment, the townsfolk couldn't help but laugh at the sight of Bob, covered in flour and salt, his expression a mixture of confusion and embarrassment. But amidst the laughter and chaos, something unexpected happened. As the townsfolk gathered around, sharing stories and swapping jokes, Bob couldn't help but join in the merriment. For despite his numerous blunders, there was something endearing about Bob and his bakery, a sense of camaraderie and joy that brought the community together in times of both triumph and disaster. And so, as the sun set on another day in Butterville, Bob's bakery remained a beacon of laughter and warmth, its doors open to all who sought a taste of adventure, even if it came in the form of a salty cookie or two. Chapter 3 The Muffin Mix-Up The sun had barely risen, casting a soft golden glow over the sleepy town of Butterville, when Bob the bumbling baker stumbled into his bakery, ready to face another day of culinary calamities. As he tied on his apron and prepared to whip up a batch of his famous blueberry muffins, little did he know that today would bring yet another misadventure. With a flourish of his hand, Bob reached for the ingredients, his fingers dancing across the familiar jars and canisters that lined the shelves of his kitchen. He measured out the flour, sugar, and baking powder with precision, determined to avoid the mistakes of days past. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. As Bob reached for the blueberries, his hand accidentally brushed against a bottle of vanilla extract, sending it tumbling to the ground with a resounding crash. The bottle shattered on impact, releasing a fragrant cloud of vanilla that filled the air, mingling with the scent of freshly baked bread and sweet pastries. Bob's eyes widened in horror as he surveyed the scene before him at a sticky puddle of vanilla extract spreading across the kitchen floor, threatening to swallow him whole. But Bob was not one to be deterred by a mere spill. With a determined gleam in his eye, he set to work, grabbing a mop and bucket and setting about cleaning up the mess. But alas, it seemed that Bob's troubles were far from over. As he attempted to mop up the sticky mess, his foot slipped on a patch of spilled vanilla, sending him careening across the room like a bowling ball on a collision course. He crashed into shells laden with baking supplies, sending flour and sugar raining down upon him like confetti. As the dust settled and Bob extricated himself from the wreckage, he couldn't help but laugh at the absurdity of it all. Here he was, a grown man covered head to toe in vanilla extract, surrounded by the remnants of yet another baking disaster. But through it all, Bob remained undeterred, his indomitable spirit shining bright even in the face of adversity. And so, with a hearty chuckle and a shake of his flower-covered head, Bob set about making a fresh batch of blueberry muffins, determined to turn his latest mishap into a masterpiece. And though his muffins may have been a little stickier than usual, they were met with rave reviews from the people of Butterville, who couldn't help but admire Bob's resilience in the face of chaos. And as the sun set on another day in Butterville, Bob the bumbling baker retired to his cosy kitchen, already dreaming of the adventures that tomorrow would bring. For in the world of baking, as in life, it's not the mistakes that define us, but how we rise to meet them with a smile on our face and flour on our apron. Chapter 4 The Pie Predicament In the heart of Butterville, amidst the cobblestone streets and quaint cottages, Bob's bakery stood as a beacon of warmth and sweetness. But within the walls of this beloved establishment, chaos reigned supreme, courtesy of none other than Bob the bumbling baker himself. On a crisp autumn morning, as the leaves danced merrily in the breeze and the scent of freshly baked bread filled the air, Bob embarked on his latest culinary adventure, 
the creation of his famous apple pie. With a twinkle in his eye and a sprinkle of flour on his nose, Bob set to work, determined to make this pie his masterpiece. He peeled and sliced apples with precision, carefully measuring out sugar, cinnamon, and a pinch of nutmeg for that perfect blend of sweetness and spice. The aroma of baking apples wafted through the bakery, drawing hungry customers in from the streets with promises of warm, gooey goodness. But alas, as Bob pulled the pie from the oven with a flourish, disaster struck in the most unexpected of ways. With a mighty flick of his wrist, Bob attempted to transfer the pie from the baking sheet to the cooling rack, but in his haste, he misjudged his strength, sending the pie soaring through the air like a frisbee gone rogue. Time seemed to slow as the pie arced gracefully across the room, the flaky crust and bubbling filling suspended in mid-air as if in a moment of silent prayer. And then, with a sickening thud, the pie made contact, not with the waiting cooling rack, but with the unsuspecting head of none other than Mayor Thompson, who had chosen that exact moment to pay a visit to Bob's bakery. The scene that unfolded was nothing short of chaotic. Mayor Thompson stumbled and staggered, covered from head to toe in a sticky mess of apples and crust, his once immaculate suit now a monument to culinary catastrophe. The customers gasped in horror, unsure whether to laugh or cry at the absurdity of it all. But true to form, Bob remained unfazed by the chaos swirling around him. With a sheepish grin and a twinkle in his eye, he approached the mayor, offering his sincerest apologies and a fresh slice of pie as a peace offering. And much to Bob's surprise, the mayor accepted with good humor, his laughter echoing through the bakery as he wiped a dollop of filling from his nose. And so, amidst the laughter and the crumbs, Bob's bakery continued to thrive, fueled by equal parts calamity and camaraderie. For in the world of baking, as in life, it's not the perfection of the finished product that matters, but the joy and laughter that come from the journey, even if that journey involves a pie to the face. Chapter 5 Bob's Sweet Redemption As the sun rose over the sleepy town of Butterville, casting its golden rays upon the cobblestone streets and quaint cottages, the scent of freshly baked pastries wafted through the air. Inside Bob's bakery, the laughter of customers mingled with the clatter of baking pans, creating a symphony of warmth and joy. But amidst the hustle and bustle of the bakery, one figure stood out amongst the flower-covered chaos, none other than Bob the bumbling baker himself. With a twinkle in his eye and a dusting of flour on his apron, Bob moved about the kitchen with a grace born of experience, his hands deftly shaping dough and frosting cakes with practiced ease. Gone were the days of calamity and chaos, replaced instead by a newfound sense of confidence and purpose. For Bob had learned that it wasn't the perfection of his pastries that mattered most, but the joy and laughter that they brought to the people of Butterville. And so, as the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Bob's bakery flourished like never before. Customers flocked from far and wide to sample Bob's latest creations, eager to experience the magic that could only be found within the walls of his beloved bakery. But amidst the success and the laughter, Bob never forgot the lessons he had learned along the way. He embraced his clumsiness with pride, turning his mishaps into moments of merriment and his failures into opportunities for growth. And then, one fateful day, as the sun set over Butterville and the last of the day's customers bid their farewells, Bob found himself reflecting on the journey that had brought him to this moment, a journey filled with laughter, love, and a healthy dose of flour. As he locked the door to the bakery and hung up his apron for the night, Bob couldn't help but smile at the thought of what tomorrow would bring. For in the heart of Butterville, amidst the scent of freshly baked bread and the sound of laughter echoing through the streets, 
Bob the bumbling baker had found his sweet redemption. And though his journey had been filled with twists and turns, mishaps and mayhem, one thing was certain, Bob's bakery would always be a place of warmth and welcome, where the pastries were as sweet as the laughter that filled the air. And in the end, that was all that mattered.